Brosto book redo if you give a mouse a cookie let's go all right so not too long ago i was reading a book to my kid before bed one night and the book just so happened to be if you give a mouse a cookie which was a classic story back when i was yeah. a kid and if you had a crappy childhood and never heard of it well it's basically a story about a mouse that takes advantage of a small child and talks him into giving him cookies and then milk and then he wants a napkin and then he's like i don't know doing weird stuff in his bathroom there's a lot going on in that book all right i don't remember the whole thing but basically the point the book was trying to make was trying to get you to not be a pushover or else people are gonna take advantage of you, yeah. especially piece of rodents that have a hankering for Pepperidge Farm chocolate. Hey, bruh. I, I say this too. If you're the type of person where you like to help others and, and be kind, and keep doing that. But be careful who you do it to. And if you if you are doing it to somebody who has shown you they don't deserve it, don't give it to them. So it's like, it's kind of like, it's like never change yourself, but change who you be kind to. It's like, you know what I'm saying? The chip cookies. And that's a pretty good message for kids, I gotta say. But then at the end of the book, <clears throat> spoiler alert, at the end of the book, <laughs> the god mouse just asks for another cookie. What the hell kind of ending is that? The kid just gets taken advantage of the whole time and yep. he's never like, hey, you know what, mouse? You can go f yourself. If you want a glass of milk so bad, why don't you get your ass up at 4.30 in the morning and do my paper route, and then you can afford to buy your own god milk. Nope, instead he's just a doormat the entire time. I mean, what the hell's this kid gonna do when he grows up and his drug addict Uncle Bill asked to borrow three grand so he can start a professional hopscotch league? Oh yeah, here you go, Uncle Bill, let's hop to it. Yeah, no, that's stupid as hell. So what I'd like to do in this video <laughs> is give you a it. slightly more realistic version of if you give a mouse a cookie. It's gonna be the same gist of the story, but with a few minor changes. Starting off with a title, of course, which I think should be called If You Give a Rat a Frito by Bruce Two Films. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. If you give a no Fritos gang. I ain't gonna lie, they're slept on for real. People be complaining of them, uh people will be complaining about them being in the var variety box of chips. And I've seen like people trying to petition to get rid of it. Couldn't be me, bro. I'm dogging every every chip in that box. Give a rat a Frito. Well, he's uh, well, he's probably gonna ask for more. What kind of fucking pervert <laughs> only eats one Frito after all? <laughs> and if you give a rat more Fritos, well, he's probably gonna want a 40 ounce of malt liquor to wash it down. And if you're gonna give a rat a 40 ounce of malt liquor, well, you know his ass is gonna want a Newport menthol to go with it. They go hand in hand for Christ's sake. What do you expect? <laughs> And if you're the type of weirdo that gives rats cigarettes and fucking 40 ounces, well, chances are the rat's gonna ask to sleep on your couch for a couple of nights. You know, just yep. until his social security kicks in and he can get back on his feet. It no big deal. Going, going. And if you do indeed let the rat sleep on your couch, yep. well, he's probably gonna shit all over it. Can't let a fucking drunk wild animal sleep on your furniture. What the hell's the matter with you? But if you do let a rat use your couch as his own personal toilet, well, don't be surprised if your wife packs her shit up and moves in with her sister because... Yeah, no, it's all... It's all... Is it, how do you say chain events, bro? One little thing, you're like, oh, it's, it's not no big deal. It's a one-time thing. Oh, here's a nice one. No big deal. You're still a nice person. You still want to make sure they're good. You're a helpful person. You're kind. And it's just stacking up to the point where it's like, you feel me? Like he said, you're losing your wife. <laughs> you lose your house type shit like, like bro because uh well she doesn't know who the fuck she's married to anymore and if your wife indeed leaves you and you're suddenly roommates with a dirty ass rat well the rat's probably gonna ask you to co-sign on an auto loan for him because well what the hell you've done everything else he's asked he knows your ass has pretty good credit might as well take advantage and if your lack of a backbone having ass does become a co-signer well the rat's gonna finance a piece of shit 2012 ford focus so he can pick up all his punk ass rat buddies and if you let the rat do that, well, your house is going to look like a fucking parking lot behind a Kmart. There's going to be 40 ounces and rat shit and fucking Newport menthols all over the place. It's going to be icky, icky, gross. But if you do decide to let that shit happen, well, the city's going to deem your residence unlivable and they're going to condemn your fucking house. And if you let the city condemn your house, well, your credit score is going to be in the shitter. The yeah. Ford Focus is getting repossessed for sure. And your ass is going to be homeless and living on the street. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. your ass is homeless and living on the street, well, I bet you're going to be awfully awfully hungry now aren't you and guess what happens next that's right it's gonna be your ass asking the rat if he's got any fucking fritos and all of a sudden you're on the cover of a children's book titled if you give a dumb fuck a frito and you know what's crazy about that when it gets to this point they probably won't even give you that frito the same person you helped you feel me the same person that took advantage of you they wouldn't give you a frito this all started from a frito you gave 
they wouldn't give it to you. And that's bro, that that gotta be like the worst gut feeling slap punch to the face I've ever heard, seen of, heard of, seen of. You feel me? Cause boy. That's crazy. The end. So the moral of the story, boys and girls, is number one, don't be a spineless pushover piece of shit. Number two, professional hopscotch is stupid as hell and three grand's gonna buy your Uncle Bill a whole lot of smack. And number three, <laughs> and most importantly, don't give a rat a Frito or a mouse a cookie or a fucking hamster a hot dog. Don't give any food to any kind of rodents whatsoever. The end. Hey, bro, obviously it's deeper than that, of course. He's just trying to make it more comedic. <clears throat> you feel me, but... Again, bro, the ones you'd be willing to help, you know what I'm saying? The ones you'd be willing to help, you help them. When the tables turn, they're not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? It's good to, it's, it's always, it's good to be a good person, but watch who you be good too. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people out here take advantage of you, gang. No cap. <clears throat> This is proof right here that the problem with Disney isn't the shitty CGI storytelling. I need this to be published. A published book. I'll pay a hundred bucks for a signed copy, Tyler. Seriously, a crisp Benjamin. <laughs> Funny. Rooster is always a treat. Everyone I say that if you give a rat a Frito should be in all elementary schools. Imagine. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys thought, bro. Y'all, y'all picking up what he's putting down. Y'all getting the message? Let me know. That's my reaction from the drug of this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.